Hello guys, hello guys, welcome back to Bullet Watch channel. And guys, today I want to give my reaction. Uh, I want to tell you my impression, my first impression on this uh, Brightling B09 Premier Collection from Brightling, the pistachio color. Um, I got this from my friend uh, who is kind enough to lend it to me. So I get a chance to play it uh, around with me, you know, for like a day. And I just want to tell you, uh, my impression on this watch and it is crazy crazy good like crazy crazy beautiful this watch and it you know after borrowing it from my friend now i have a very very difficult problem of returning it to, to him because i'm really in love with this watch guys and it's a really lovely watch i mean first of all look at the the color of the dial which is actually the star of the show and i believe that a lot of people already talk about this watch a lot over the internet uh the pistachio color is like the only one in the market from what i can understand nobody else other than brightling has this pistachio color uh on their catalog so it's the dial itself is already unique uh with the with the pistachio color and let's talk about a little bit about the proportion which is very very important to me as a watch enthusiast the proportion has to be right you know because sometimes you see watches okay fine they got beautiful color they got beautiful dial and then once you put it put them on and they just feel like oh, okay this is not for me but this watch once i put it on my wrist boy i just feel that this is it this is really for me and seriously guys i have a problem right now <laughs> like i don't want to return this piece to, to my friend because i really love this timepiece and uh, but of course I, I have to return it to him you know today or tomorrow but i really i think i'm really set like i'm gonna i'm gonna acquire this timepiece uh later on uh i probably will get it next year in 2023 uh so hopefully that will happen fingers crossed uh but yeah guys uh let's talk a little bit about proportion the proportion has to be right right so once i put this one on my wrist i just feel man this is so lovely because uh the case thickness it's um uh the, the the case thickness is actually uh about 13 about 13 millimeter about 13 millimeter uh 13 millimeter but it wears i don't know why it wears um it wears quite thick but it doesn't wear it, it's not a thick watch but it, but it has like a wrist presence that's what i want to say and because it's 40 millimeter it's just nice like it's not too big it's not too small you know, for for my wrist, which is only six point five inches, uh, the forty millimeter just wrap my wrist very very nicely, and uh, yeah, and the thickness is right, thirteen millimeter, like I said. So this is basically the same as Speedmaster Professional. Speedmaster Professional, the proportion is really really great, even though it says like forty two millimeter for Speedmaster, but actually it wears smaller, so it wears like 39 to 40 mil so i would say this watch is actually gonna wear the same or similar to speedmaster professional um which i have already owned speedmaster professional so i know uh so uh yeah and the uh it comes with the sapphire crystal so you don't have to worry about it and it has 100 meters water resistance so this is the timepiece that you don't really i mean it's a chronograph movement it's, it's a chronograph i understand it's complicated but uh you don't really have to baby it around okay because of the sapphire crystal and also the 100 meters of water resistance i think this watch can be <laughs> a daily timepiece for you who are active uh i don't think there is a problem with it and and it's also because of is a chronograph is complicated so it's a nice balance it's a nice balance so this is kind of like a, 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 a um an active uh, is a, a timepiece for an active person but also it can be used as someone who just want a nice watch you know go to to the formal event go to wedding go to office uh, and people i mean you definitely will attract some attention because look at the dial guys i mean it's very beautiful the color itself is already the star of the show and and now if i flip it over and you can see the movement oh boy it's very very beautiful maybe uh let me see if i can uh sorry guys i, I don't think i will i will remove the buckle because uh, it's actually still brand new condition and this is not mine so i'm I, I will respect my friend for that so but you can see the movement itself oh my 
god it's very beautiful look at look at the movement the b0 this is this one comes with b09 movement which is actually the manual wine uh, version of brightling b01 uh, movement the b01 movement is very famous and very respectable uh, movement from brightling uh, it's on par with like daytona movement uh, or speed massive professional movement you know it's it's basically it's it's top-notch movement okay and this one is the manual wine movement uh of the b01 so yeah look at look at that it's, it's very beautiful the aesthetic of it oh shit it's just very beautiful so this watch is like beautiful inside out oh i really love it guys i really really do love it i think this watch is is great i really love it and yeah what can i say i mean i i will really need to buy one for me for myself uh yeah the proportion is great the dial is great beautiful movement is great uh yeah i don't know what else to say it's it's really really cool i mean let's maybe let's activate the chronograph uh pusher oh it's a little bit hard i don't know why ah okay yeah this one <clears throat> is a b09 movement and uh, brightling it has movement it's a little bit hard to activate it first time but then once it, it starts running it's actually not that bad and it's and, and and it has this rectangular uh case shape sorry not case but rectangular uh pusher so make it easier to grip uh yeah it's very very nice so it's very smooth it's very smooth yeah it's very nice guys it's, it's a very nice watch oh man i really love it i'm i'm falling in love seriously i i'm really in love with this timepiece i'm gonna get one for myself definitely new year it's gonna be a new year present or something uh, okay so let's reset it so i'm gonna oh okay it's a column wheel chronograph so once i reset it it's very it feels very very smooth like boom just like that you know it feels it feels solid very, very nice yeah guys um this watch is a, is a is a home run for brightling i can say it's a very nice watch i mean my my dream is to be able to own this timepiece and also they have the daytora with the salmon dial oh that one is also very lovely i mean i can see myself getting this and the daytora and maybe call it a day or something you know uh there are too many other watches out there uh but yeah this is a sick hobby <laughs> but if i if i want to retire i can really see myself you know getting this and daytora at this point of time i can see myself getting this daytora and that's it call it a day i mean uh yeah so yeah guys that's my first impression of this bradley pistachio let me update you later on next year probably when i get uh this one for myself this one is uh lent to me so this is not mine but once i get mine I'm going to do a review, more thorough review. Uh, I'm going to talk more about the timepiece. But for now, this is it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And uh, if you like horology or watches in general, consider subscribing. Uh, I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Uh,